A hundred years ago, there was a book that turned the Choson Kingdom upside down. The book Soyugyammun, called Observations on Travels in the West, was written by Yu Gilchun, the first man from Choson to study abroad in the US. What about today, a hundred years after Yu wrote his book? Over the past century, Korea has embraced Western civilization and experienced rapid industrialization. Today, Korea is more relevant in the world than it ever was in the past. This is our attempt to create our own version of observations on travels in the West. This is London, the city of everlasting history and culture. In the summer of 2012, the city was awash with celebrating the Olympics. Thank you. And it was then that Korean culture took the center stage. Korean culture, both traditional, dating some 5,000 years, and modern, left deep impressions. This is the Victoria and Albert Museum, named after Queen Victoria and her consort, Prince Albert, and home to national treasures. Here, an unprecedented event took place. Once the museum closed down at 5 p.m., dozens of clothes were distributed. Elsewhere, some 20 models began putting on makeup. <laughs> Showtime is approaching. At the Raphael Exhibition Hall as well, the models are changing clothes. A runway is going to magically appear here. History and fashion are coming together. Korean fashion designer Lee Sang-bong is behind the transformation. Even E can't believe the transformation is taking place. 깜짝 놀랐습니다. 한 시간 반 만에 완벽한 무대를 관람객이 나간 뒤에 한 시간 반 만에 이런 무대를 만들었어요. 저도 깜짝 놀랐고요. 어, 오늘 이제는 이제 제가 어떻게 모델들이 쉴수 없이 이게 라이브로 진행되는 거라 실수 없이 이 무대에서 좋은 쇼가 이루어지기 바랍니다. He is a perfectionist, unwilling to let even one mishap take place. He never forgets to examine the preparations even one day before the show. He was able to hold a fashion show in the museum because his pieces were considered to be works of art. His works, featuring a fusion of the Korean alphabet Hangul and traditional patterns, are globalizing Korean culture. Our cultures are the most beautiful in the world. 지금도 갖고 있기 때문에 그것을 세계인과 같이 공감하고 또 그들의 문화를 같이 이 패션에 접목을 해서 새로운 문화를 하나에 만들어내고 싶은 게제 생각입니다. 이상봉 has done it again. Through his show, he has featured traditional Korean patterns. This is Tanchong, or a traditional multicolored paintwork on wooden buildings. This Tanchong is carrying on. In the world, you can understand all of these things in the color and the shape of the building. Why? Because this is made from natural motifs. It's so simple. Basically, Tanchong is made from the basic fashion. I used to paint a little bit of oil on the surface. 
This traditional patchwork by E is no exception. 이것이 우리의 전통인 조각보 갖고 작업을 한 겁니다. 이게 보시면 정말 안팎이 이렇게 너무 그 우리만이 갖고 있는 특징의 그 손바느질 세계 최고의 손바느질이 있고요. 그것을 이제 현대적으로 이렇게 아, 오돈하게 이제 표현을 하는 거죠. The most important part of the show is choosing the models. And auditions are on their third day. In fact, E's clothes are so popular among models that only one out of every five models will be chosen. Even then, it isn't easy to find a model that can properly express the clothes she wears. There are many instances when immediate modifications are needed on the clothes to better fit the model. The proper shoes need to be selected in order to go with the clothes. Now the last model in the audition is strutting her walk. E can be a picky designer. Is he satisfied? Picture. Yente sar oulinen gat. And it's all over. Let's try and see. I am really feel I'm really excited and I'm really happy to do the show just because you know, the uh, clothes are just so nice and I'm really excited to do the show, so really happy. It's time to arrange the models for the show. Will everything work out? The show is on, despite E's worries and hopes. His show is well received for mixing the five traditional colors of Korea with the colors of the Olympics. The first part's theme is patchwork, while the second part is tanchong. The traditional roof tiles have transformed into hats, skirts, and coats. Show especially with the um, with the danchong, um, I love that pattern in Korea. Um, and the show it had so much texture, color, pattern all together. Um, it was very nice, very colorful, and I was really impressed. I know it's a cliche of East and West, but that's what he actually does. So he takes traditional techniques and then puts them in a Western context. It's interesting. The infusion of the unique Korean beauty into fashion provides more than just fashion. It radiates emotion. It's not so unusual for a fashion designer sometimes to turn his talents to different types of material. In the case of Lee Sang-bong, he designed some beautiful calligraphic patterns on modern white porcelain tableware. And it's really very appropriate and pleasing to see that work displayed in the v &A. The Saatchi Gallery is known for fostering members of the young British artists like Damien Hirst. It's considered the center of modern art. The Korean Eye 2012 exhibition held at the Saatchi Gallery is proof that Korean culture is spreading its influence in modern art. Korean Eye is set to play a key role in shaping our understanding of these artists' work because they've uh, not only just in terms of the work itself but, but, but providing uh, a cultural gateway um, to their homeland. 
some 100 works by 34 young Korean artists were placed on exhibit, filled with youthful energy and imagination. You walk past it and the clothes changed. So there was a lady fully clothed and then you changed direction and she had if she was unclothed, no clothes on. And so it just, it was all these different changing completely all the time. It's really good. Joe Dakan work is the most uh, impressive to me. It tells about uh, history of families and, uh, and leaves the future open with empty frames. One of the most popular exhibits was Translation Vase. The series featured a transformation of ceramics, a representation of Eastern beauty into soap. It needs a lot of technical skill. Uh, a lot of uh, creativity, how to reproduce the, the, the pattern of the traditional um, uh, ch China on the soap. And uh, so I, I was very impressed with that work. Artist Shin Mi Gyeong, currently active in London, majored in Western art. She has been working with soap to create her pieces for more than 10 years now, and her works feature a Korean sense of external and internal beauty. Her spark came from a simple ceramic gift a friend gave her. It is difficult to make the design and conclude the piece by the same means used for traditional ceramics. However, she persevered and even remembered to focus on each piece's internal beauty. She even placed some of her works in the restroom in order to garner the reactions of her viewers. Her works are closely intertwined with daily life just like Korean traditional pieces. This is Cavendish Park in Westminster. This almost alive piece of art in the park is the work of Shin Mi-gyong. People are surprised when they learn that it's made of soap. It's really neat that it's made of soap and that it's going to be changing as uh, you know as time goes by because it rains a lot here so it probably will change quite a bit. <laughs> Shin unveiled the piece after four years of preparation. 예전에 만들어진 많은 유물들이 다 풍화 작용을 일으키는 거지만 우리가 사실 인생이 굉장히 짧기 때문에 그걸 볼 수가 없는데 비누는 거의 인생의 속도와 비슷하게 풍화가 돼서 우리가 실제로 그걸 목격할 수가 있는 것에 대해서 사람들이 굉장히 이제 관심이 있어 하고요. Shin claims that the piece is still not complete, 
Only the elements of rain, wind and time will complete it after nature fully embraces it. The city of Stuttgart along Germany's Neckar River is famous for being a city of culture and education. The city's pride is its Stuttgart Ballet, featuring 400 years of history. Breaking through the exclusive Western Ballet Troupe and showing the best of the ballet world. Korean ballerina Kang Soo Jin is the principal ballerina of the Stuttgart Ballet. Recently, a rising star with the potential to succeed Kang has appeared. Da ist sie bei uns gewesen hier in der Gesellschaft als Gast. Schauen Sie, als Gast, als Gast bei uns und hat gesprochen über ihr Leben, ah, über, Leben. Ja, über ihr Leben, ja. was sie, ihren Werdegang. Schauen Sie, da ist sie auch noch mal. Sie ist auffallend, sie ist besonders, sie ist, äh, kann eine Rolle ausfüllen, äh, macht Sprünge, die einfach fantastisch sind. Ein strahlendes Lächeln immer. Amazing. <lacht> She is Korean ballerina Kang Hyo Jong. She is skillful enough to become a principal dancer only seven years after being admitted to the Stuttgart Ballet. You know, going back to the beginning, the second paragraph, careful of this here, Shibuya. Really bring that down. It, it's big, the movement's very big. Yeah, now I can see so loud. And continue, yeah? It is thanks to her non-stop efforts, through which she earned nicknames like Super Hyo. I thought that they had done just such a great job. I decided to make them both principal dancers on that night, which doesn't usually happen that way in ballet companies. But I just was really so taken with what they had done that on that night, she, and he both became principal dancers of the company. Kang Hyo Jong received 12 curtain calls for her role in Romeo and Juliet and became the principal dancer afterwards. Her personal achievement is also an achievement of Korean ballet. It was a night that, that I will never forget in my life. I just took it as um, a gift from Reed and from the public, from the company, telling, telling me to grow even more and go further and, yeah, become a big artist. Kang Hyo Jung is headed for the studio responsible for her stage costumes. Hi, coming. Okay. She is preparing for the costume she will wear in the upcoming Don Quixote Ballet scheduled for next season. <coughs> Don Quixote is considered to be a classical mm -hmm. ballet and it's yet another opportunity for her to charm her audiences. Mm -hmm. And you, maybe you can turn it, they see how nicely it moves. Yeah. So I think it looks very nice, I'm very happy. In order to be able to take on a variety of ballets, Kang has to practice two pieces every day. Her bag is filled with new shoes and... Since she has sensitive feet, she needs to modify the shoes on her own. I 
게 켤레가 좀 달라요. 조금씩 기계로 찍어내는 것보다 아무래도 그리고 저희는 조금만 달라져도 금방 느끼거든요. 뭐 이게 조금만 짧아지거나 뭐좀 부드러워져도 금방 느끼니까 또 그때 맞춰서 또, 또 다르게 어떨 때는 좀 꺾이는 부분이 좀 미치다 그러면 좀 위로 달 때도 있고 그러니까 꼬매는 것도 되게 집중해서 꼬매야 돼요. 강 puts in all this effort not because she wants to be the best but because she loves ballet. Her efforts and passion are breaking down stereotypes of both the East and the West, as well as the limits of the human body. She is technically very strong, but she is also very ausdrucksstark on the stage, which is very rare, this combination. And she is really an outsider dancer. Korean culture is infusing a new type of energy in global culture. Korean culture is no longer something unfamiliar, but now a global asset enjoyed by all. This is the East-West School of International Studies in New York. Founded six years ago, the school is known for teaching Korean traditional dances and music. These students are off to their next class. And it's Pungmul, or Korean folk music tradition class. Pungmul can be called a Korean orchestra, featuring traditional instruments like the puk, tango, sogo, and gengari. The students are preparing to wrap up the class as vacation is approaching, and for today, they are dressed in Korean traditional wear. I think it's really cool. It feels cold. Because I thought it was going to be really hot. Like it's, it's, it's probably going to help us to learn more about the outfits. They may not be used to the clothes, but they still have fun wearing them. The class starts off with an explanation of the clothes. The name of this clothes is called Mimbo. Everyone say Mimbo. Very good. What kind of feeling will their Pungmul performance give? It was really fun. Um, I enjoyed you know, instructing the whole class. Well, I wasn't instructing, but I was, you know, leading them. Um, I really liked all the beats that we did. It was really fun. Pungmul is becoming a rhythm and music that American students can enjoy. I've seen them perform in, in uh, when we have uh, ceremonies, they'll perform for us. And also during class when I go down there and, and I watch them play, um, they're really into it. Um, I think it helps them focus, not only in in, during that class, but in other, it helps them in other classes as well. The world is embracing and learning more about Korean art. The spread of Korean passion and aesthetics begins now.